Okay, we're going to pull out a spark plug. See how it looks. It's okay. You get that acorn that's sitting in there misbehaving out. Take out the other plug too, and then we'll see what it felt turns out like. Of course, unless there's no compression anyway. Should we see if the piston is coming in and out? Have to look in there. bearing rod broken or something. Yep, that one goes in and out. So the pistons are moving. Since it hasn't run in a while, I am going to give the pistons a little bit of a advantage by shooting some penetrating oil down the hole. There. Should lubricate the cylinder wall just a little bit. I think that starter is supposed to
gear shouldn't be. There it goes down. Not quite far enough though. There. Didn't quite go in place. Let's bring it up, see if there's something under it. Well, it obviously could use some oil. Pretty rusty on that shaft. interesting that it was stuck with the starter up. Let's see if that works too. Okay, it's somewhat clean. I should say way better clean than it was. Put the plugs back in. <laughs> now, do you suppose I have to get them in the right order? The left. Right here, the wire is worn through. Looks like it's chewed or rubbed. So that spark plug wire is suspect. But it's long enough I can probably patch it. I don't really know on these coils. I think there's a way to get this wire out and uh, replaced. I have replaced one on the other cub, so, but I can't remember what it cost. Simple job, it's just that you have to uh, get a hold of it. And with the post office orders out in the rural area, even though they try to get it to you in two days, it doesn't uh, Got a bunch of acorns down there. Be kind of fun to see if the starter works. I have to slip a battery into it. I got some. Well, let's see if the starter runs directly. I hooked it up to a battery 
and a jumper and I clamped the negative to the frame and I turned the touch this not sure why the if that should drop down there like that maybe it does with speed or something I should get the camera over here. So the starter sort of works. Not sure why that isn't dropping down in out of place. Maybe that's something when it gets up to speed. I guess I don't know. Feels like it has a compression when it does that. Let's try it again. We got one spark plug wire that's uh, Uh, hooked up to the coil.